Hi Virgo, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Virgo, this is your general reading. Uh, I call it my messages from source uh, starting today on the 25th of March and just for the very near future. I haven't set an end date to these readings anymore because I want, if somebody's finding them later on, I want them to feel like they apply to them and not put a date on it that it wouldn't. That could really bring them a good message. Um, so, and I also incorporate now because I love numbers. I love the, I love the numbers. And so, and source often speaks to me through numbers. And um, so I've decided to like, today is the 25th and the 25th uh, date adds up to number seven, which speaks about like completion of something. On the seventh day, he rested that type of energy. So there's something being very, there's something being very complete, completed. Uh, like a full manifestation, something like that. Like number 10 is all about completion, but that's like, okay, we ended that, we can move on now. Uh, but number seven is more like, we, we created the world in six days, and on the seventh day he rested, and so let's now enjoy it. Let's now see what we can find out of that seven. Number two is all about conversation, communication, relationships. Number five is about your life path. For me, I know five could be other things for other people, but five for me is life path. So let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. I'm so excited to see what comes out because it was such an exceptional reading for you guys two weeks ago. So I'm really curious to see what's going on for you guys. The wind is so strong here today, so definitely wind of change. You might hear it through the microphone every once in a while. Okay, Virgo, your story for the near future. And if you don't like the shuffle, fast forward the video. See a card here that I remember from your last reading, from your last general reading. But it's interesting because sometimes you know you get the same card, but not at all the same message. So I'm just having an open mind. Hmm? Okay. Wow. Was that the same? I don't know. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a, why do I put that in the middle? It came up first. Feels wrong though. Um, I know, I know you have this card. Shadow. You have the shadow card. What feels like now, okay, like, is this going to be a continuation? Yes, it's going to be a continuation. Or... Or they wouldn't have, like, I remember this card. Because I know I, I talked so much about it. I talked so much around it. And new things just kept coming coming out of it. Um, number 18 adds up to number 9. So there's, there, there is an ending. There is a completion, an ending of something. We're moving into something new. You're letting something go. We're, you're giving your, the lighter side of you the torch. You're, you're stepping out of the shadow and coming into the light. You're definitely coming into the light. And then I'm very drawn to what feels like a blue moon here. Uh, it is the moon and it is the sun, but it feels like a blue moon. And I think, because I had that in another reading. So if I'm not completely wrong, we have the next blue moon on the 31st of October. That might be of significance for some. There might just be some sort of validation for some. That is a blue moon here. Anyway, uh, we have new beginnings. After nine ending come new beginnings. So we have number one with a brand new start. We have the number eight, which is all about infinity, eternity, the eternal life of something. The eternal life of something. And I feel like this is the eternal life of you. Uh, and this is all about manifestation. The universe has your back. The universe is, is sort of bringing you the stuff that you need right now. And I know in these crazy times that's going on right now, um, if some people feel a bit 
uh, scared that, that, that there's not going to be enough for everybody. This is the time to really step into understanding that there's no lack. There just is no lack. In an in a ever-expanding universe that evolves with each, with each thought that we have, there is just no lack. I understand that it could be in this, if I go into this store, this person, but you wouldn't even be guided to go into a store where you're going to get the last piece of something or something like that, if that is what's, what you're scared of or where's the money going to come from or anything like that. Let's not go too, be too sidetracked here now. Um, so what I want to say here now is like, we're now, st we're this, this thing that looks chaotic, it looks crazy, I feel is the kickstart of something grand, something so beautiful and large and big, a shift, an awakening, an ascension, like it's like the new world that we've been waiting for. We sort of need a crash landing in order to really ask for something new, right? So you're passing the torch from the old version, from whatever we're stepping out of now, as a collective stepping out of. Um, and it's like, it's like, because you're already holding it. It's not new to you, but it's like, you, you, I feel like you're so strong in this light. You feel like how this almost, you can't almost not see it. Uh, we're stepping into this light and you're becoming a leader through these times. I feel like you are probably not one of those people who are very scared, but rather a light for a lot of other people right now. And Virgo, this sort of stems with the, it just fits perfectly with the last reading that I had. So probably a lot of you guys that listened to the last one is here again, because I get the same vibe. And I do appreciate that first and foremost. Thank you for coming back. Um, I feel like you, you're such a guiding light at this moment in time and it, and you've you've barely just begun you're holding the torch you're leading the way i feel like there's a lot of people if they had a chance they would so sit down and just talk f with you for hours and hours because just being around you calms them down so there's something very calming around you something very being in light in the light about you and that you're not wavering is that a way to express it you're not you're not easily um, oh, what do you say? Like, you can't shake you all that easy. Like, you can't move you out of this, this comfort zone that you're in, which, which normally would, we would say, get out of the comfort zone. But this is a good comfort zone. It's like you're bringing comfort in, within your zone. Okay? And then we move on to the next. Um, that's almost like I want to end it off there, like from the other reading as well. And let's step into this new which is number one, which is beautiful, um, which is new beginnings, new start, fresh new start, starting over. Um, it's a black border again, so it's the universe is there to show you that you're being backed. Did you not have the universe card? I'm getting a, like a, oh, never mind. Um, you so it says awareness on the bottom the program reverses the cars don't ask um awareness on the bottom is what it says i feel like you're the uh, i want more words in my vocabulary you're the uh, you don't say beacon do you i get the word beacon but like you're the shining light, you're the leader, you're the, you're, you're it. Like you're, you're so in tune with the universe, the universal forces, the not lack, the not like there's no, oh, there's no, there's not enough to go around for everybody. Yes, there is. You're in, you're in tune with resources and listen to the word resource. We're just resourcing things. We're just sources with us at all times. And you just re keep resourcing things, right? And you're so in tune with this. You're so a beacon 
Okay, I'm going to use the beacon because I get the word beacon. I don't know if it's correct. You probably know better than I do. Um, you couldn't, this is like, where, where are we supposed to focus on this card? <laughs> Here. Um, this shows that you're such a, that you're so um, in tune with your divinity right now, the divine, and you are like that. And I feel like you're listening, but also for those people who feel that maybe you've had slight headaches, maybe you've had slight like pressure on your head, um, feeling a bit drained, maybe feeling a bit like you're thirst, like you're in need, in need in need of water, and maybe you've even drank enough water, and so that's not it. I feel like this could have been when you're not allowed which we can talk a whole, a whole hour about if you're allowed or not, if you've been sort of caught up in life and, and doing things in your life that has not, that has led you to not allow yourself to um, really feel this connection that is going on right now, but rather toning it down or not hindering it because I feel like you can't hinder it, but toning it down or resisting it a bit that immediately because it's such a strong connection and i get these little it's almost like you have goosebumps but you have them in your hair so it, it feels like somebody almost tickles you a bit it's like a tickling going on in your hair and it's like you do that but nothing is there i feel like that that's literally you and your the connection you feel because you physically feel it um when you shut that down a tiny bit, there's a pressure on your head. You might have had minor headaches, like not migraine or anything. That's that's big resistance. But in terms of this, I feel like there's it, it could just be a pressure over your head or just feeling tired, like dr or drained, I should say, drained. Um, and it, immediately, as soon as you just open that up again, and you can just do this, you can just open up like do a little metaphor stand in the mirror and see how you open up or sit quietly in meditation and just feel this opening again and it's not like you you can close it down or you just rather this connection is not something that you sort of turn off it's not like an on and off switch it's an allowing to fully be in that connection or sort of resisting that connection or be sort of hindering yourself to fully feel it if that makes sense um, I don't know how to, like what metaphor to use for it, but it's like, it's like you're, I find it very cute when people say, oh, it's so nice to have a weekend where we get to be more spiritual and now how do, how do I close it down so that, you know, I'm protected from other people or protected from, and what have you. And in my world, it just does not work that way. It's just, you know, you're spiritual all the time. 24-7, you're spiritual because you have your spirit with you wherever you go. Um, and there's no closing down in the sense that let's shut these, you know, we have these different, like we're shutting it down in each. You don't shut anything down. You either get up to speed with your own alignment or you're resisting it. And shutting it down actually brings more physical stuff to you. But that's another reading. But um, all I want to say here is that you are super, super, super in line with your higher self with the universe with the divine and i feel for most of you guys there's a clear connection but at times since it's so clear and since it's so strong so vivid like in your face strong um once in a while where life is too much where where maybe you didn't sleep enough or maybe just because of all the chaos and sometimes you're dragged into it you're human so you're allowed to um but I feel then there's, there's an explanation for maybe your pressure over the head or maybe feeling a bit drained, even a bit dizzy and almost like it's coming down over your eyes a bit. Like I've never had migraines once in my life, but I figure that's if, if you start to feel like you have a pressure over your eyes and you think, oh, no, I'm going to get a migraine. No, you're not. You're not. It's just a pressure from being so in line with the divine and resisting it a tiny bit and so if you just sit and meditate and focus on the fact you don't you can't open anything it's already open but you you can sort of go within and just focus on it being being in alignment again so that you let go of your resistance a tiny bit 
And then guys, I feel like there's a, cause with, I see the next card and the next card is number two. So just the fact that this is how it works. We have a number nine, we have an eight, one and eight equals number nine. So it's an ending. We're starting here with a new beginning and it's a process coming into number two. So one and nine, one and two, it's just gorgeous. Um, and it's a mental conflict. This is mental conflict because I feel there's something about, just bear with me. There's something about opening up, completely opening up to one aspect of you. You, 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 I feel like you who are watching this are really aware of your spirituality, of your spirit. You're really aware of your spiritual path, that you are a teacher, that you are a leader, no matter how it looks. Um, and that you're very evolved, like you're in the frontier of the awakening. Grand words, I know, but that's how it feels. And it is this mental conflict, and I'm I am drawn to those words. There's like one aspect of you, one aspect of you, you you have completely opened up. And as I say that, it gets a tingle. So you probably get tingles, like little, almost like some you you haven't get, gotten lice. Less, there's no lice in your hair. It's it's like little tingles that you are connected. You might feel that. Um, you've opened one aspect of yourself and you're fully like fully in, un, in complete understanding with whatever that means. But then on the other hand, it's like something now on the other hand is... Wait, I want to fully understand this so that I can deliver it to you guys. Um, Cause when I when I look at this when I look at this card here with the awareness card, which feels like very much a universe card. Let's see if you can see that. It almost looks a bit like just cloudy stuff or universe stuff here going on at the top of your head but that thing that is a bit bolder than the fluffy stuff around it first it looks like a swan a swan that's sort of doing that and like coming out of a it's so windy here um it's like coming out of the ocean, coming out of the universe, like a, the swan. And the swan for me is all about like, I don't know how to say this in another way, but the music in you, like the, the swan is all about the, the dance and the music and the movement, like how you, um, I get emotional when I think about this. It's like, it's like you're, Ah, it's like you're moving with, with, um, the instruments. It's like you're move. probably for you listening to music, playing music, singing, dancing, being in the musical realm probably is one of the most healing things for you. You could probably listen to a piece of music and start crying because you're so literally pun intended in tuned, in tuned with the music. It's like, oh, it's overwhelmingly beautiful. It's like you, it's the music in you. And so there's, oh, there's so much that wants to come out. Like there's, there's this different dimension with the, with the whole, with a whole other approach to things. You're just walking around, feel, it's like you're one with everything and you feel this different dimensional part of you. The awareness, it's not about like, yes, you can be aware, you can be aware of what's happening, but this is awareness. This is like, when people talk about, um, sounds like I'm bitching a bit, but I am, but 
Um, it's like when people talk about this mindfulness. Just there's nothing. For me, there's nothing mindful. When there's mindfulness in terms of meditation or anything like that, it's, it's awareness. The mind left your mind a long time ago. It's the awareness. It's like you are the awareness. Your source. Resource. Wink. Uh, then there's a dolphin. There's like dolphins jumping out of this place as well. Like we're coming out from this place. And your soul not only aware of it but you're you you are the awareness of this you are i know and i know it's my own fear that you're not gonna like understand what i'm talking about and therefore you're gonna say oh she's nuts and so i feel it, the need to say i know it's out there i know to sort of cover it up a bit i think so with that said with not saying that i still said it so there is something about a new dimension in terms of swans and in terms of dolphins. And, it, and it's like, and you're already there. You're already feeling this shift. You're already feeling this different dimension. You are that kind of awareness. That's one part of it. And you've opened up for that. You understand that awareness. You understand that whole, you understand that. But there's a conflict. There's something about when you try to step into there's one part of you who fully grasp that who, who, who are fully in it and then there's this other whether that is like your day-to-day -day life meeting day-to-day -day people coming back to work and like they're not at all there i feel like there's a mental conflict for you sometimes where you fully allow yourself to just be there and you sort, of, you sort of do not care about what other people think, then you're just thriving and you're blooming and booming and you're just gorgeousness all around and you're becoming the true leader that you're supposed to be in this sort of moving everything to the next level. And you're allowed to. It's like let yourself be in those moments where you can't, where, where, where it's almost like, okay, we have to shut this down now because I'm talking to this person. And like I just did, if you're starting to talk about dolphin dimensional like frequencies, you're going to lose them. Like, wait, we should have coffee. And then they're like, you go sing with your dolphins and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go that way. Um, I do feel this shift for you as well, how you're more and more sort of coming out of the old, going into the new, coming out of the old, going into the new. And so it's sort of a bit of back and forth there. Completely understandable, completely understandable, Virgo. Okay, more, about, more information about this situation for Virgo. I knew it was going to be a good one. I love this. No, too many. The whole card, the whole deck wants to be in on it, just so you know. But what flew out and came upwards like this. Okay, so um, they came out exactly at the same time. So I want to show them at the same time. And uh, this is saying a number five, this is saying number three, and here on the bottom it says financial and material changes, and here it says partnerships and alliances. Um, number five, uh, for me, is life path. It just means life path, so you're truly on your life path right now. Number three is all about creativity, joy, fun, laughter, uh, yeah, just coming together in that pure creativity with other people. It, it really is gorgeous. What I'm drawn to here after, like I said, this is, this is going on. It's almost like these are two different readings. They're not two different readings. This is the exact same energy, but two different um, dimensions, I should say. They're two different dimensions. And so I, I understand. I understand the conflict. Like I understand the... 
I almost want to compare you to, I, I, way, way, way back, I did this dream course, dream class to understand like my dreams more and the interpretation of them and all of that. Um, and what I learned was that there, there's, there was, and I know of them, they're really existing people, two people that had their full life in dream state. They sort of considered what, what the majority of us would consider reality, they consider dream state. And then going, when they went to sleep, they had full control over their dreams, like full, like stepping into their, them, their then reality, what they, what they felt like reality and having like families to revisit, like revisit them every night, having families to go back to, having children, having jobs, like do whatever they, this is what I'm adding. Uh, they had different lives in their dream state feeling as vivid as ours feel here, not ours, but you know, uh, and, uh, I almost feel the, why, why I'm drawn to talk about that is that I feel that for some of you guys, this is going on on one plane, like the complete awareness and the shift and the bigness and the different dimensions and all of that is so a part of you and you so fully understand that. And then there's another part of you that is very physical, obviously, that is very physical and, and is also at the same time sort of looking for your physical um, joy, physical creativity, physical uh, satisfaction. And in between these two, there's a mental conflict. One representative, and this is not as stale or as dark as this is being presented here now. I want to say like this, where you fully have bloomed into, into this understanding is like, on, is like on that side. And then we have like the 3D physical version of you is on this side. But this could also be like blooming. I, it's just so you, that, you, that you understand. And it's like you're trying to combine the two. It's like... It's like you're looking forward to be able to in integrate the, the way more expanded version of yourself to the physical part of yourself. And what I see here now is something about you it comes out like a marriage it comes out like a partnership and alliances like and this could be going on parallel for you it could be like it is a you're you're just finding your people like your star people your soul family is slowly coming back to you meaning that maybe you've been alone for a while and you felt like or changing relationships or changing jobs or whatever you've been doing because it's like you're stepping into something different a different frequency now a different dimension and you're slowly sort of gathering your soul family again. It's like you're coming back with your tribe, that kind of feeling. And so that could go on as well. But there's a marriage between you and you. Does that make sense? There's a, there's, there's a marriage between these guys. Why this comes out as a, it's a partnership and it's an alliance, partnerships and alliances. And... I see this as a, we're blending all these, like they're coming together now and there's a marriage and there's a partnership like between you and you. You're blending this beautiful universe part of you with the physical part of you and it comes in so strong and you're somewhat in between of the two. It's like you're jumping back and forth rather than just being this awareness at all times. If that makes sense. Wow. It's windy. Um, I'm looking at the clock. Is there such a thing as a finishing off card here? And then I'm going to move into extended and just pull more cards and see what awesomeness that will come out. So if you resonate with this message, you probably will resonate with the extended. If you're not, I fully understand. There's, there's some sort of finishing off card here.
Yeah, so it's just telling you to be feel safe in it and feel like you're moving forward exactly the way you should move forward in it. It's number one and it's number four. One for me is, again, new beginnings. We're starting new. We're beginning a new path here. It's the number four, which is all about the heart, the heart center, feeling it, awareness it, awareness it. Uh, and there's two foundational borders, like two foundation cards with red borders. So it's, and, it, and one card is actually called firm foundation. You really, and there's a triangle, like a sim, there's symbolism going on all around you probably lately. The mountain even symbolizes. Oh, I think that was for Leo. I just used the uh, symbolism with Mount Everest. Anyway, there's, and this is prosperity begins. So there's, you're, you're laying the foundation for this as we speak. Just take that to heart. You're laying the foundation for this as we speak, and you're going to find your way through it. You're going you're gonna to figure out how to be this dolphin, swan-like frequency dimension in your now present moment in your physical body, which is so oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to end the reading there. I'm going to continue in the extended. So if you feel drawn to it, come over there. If not, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you back next week for your love reading if you want to. Take care. Bye, Virgo.